we are now in a Tesla Model 3 dual non-performance with the 18 inch wheels this is the efficiency king so we have seen previously that this car can drive very far when you drive at 90 kilometers per hour but that was you know the a simulation of how it would be in the mix of highway and city driving now we will do the high speed run which is 120 kilometers per hour yeah and then of course some germans be like nine das ist nicht schnell schnell is 200 kilometers per hour yeah I know, yeah, so, um, but yeah, so at least we'll do it here. So I'm gonna show the plan this time. So we are here in Hawthorne and we'll drive four or five. Now this time we'll drive southeast because that seems to be better than going north here. So yeah, let's head southeast. It sh should be fairly flat here. And then, what is it, 45? Yeah, let's do a 90 kilometers run, yeah, over there and then back again. Oh yes, we are on the move trying to cruise at 120 kilometers per hour yeah so right now we're doing 120 and sometimes i'm being blocked by left lane huggers yes i thought they were only existing in norway but all right so um now we have to drive a little while to get a good reading but so far you see 227 that's high but uh, it needs to stabilize a bit so that's why i have to drive a while ah shit left lane huggers doing 100 oh, what the heck oh. now look at that oil refinery yeah never seen oil refinery so close to the city before wow well i guess america is big on oil yeah they uh they pump up a lot of oil from somewhere and refine them that's why the, the oil and the gas is so cheap here in the u.s I should say a few words about all pilot because he's doing a superb job with roads like this. He would stay within the lane, he would do the lane change without having to touch the steering wheel. And it actually does like I haven't seen it do any mistakes like go over the line or something like that. The only um, exception is when you are in a road construction area, but then you should be careful anyway. But you should always be ready to take over, but yeah, on the roads like this, with lots of road markings, then the autopilot has no problems uh, staying within the line. We are on the way back now, and uh, you know, we actually had the headwind on the way here, and now we are right on the tailwind on the way back. And if I remember correctly, I was getting 187 watt kilometer with the performance uh, Model 3. And if you look here, so far we have uh, 188. Ooh, this is looking very good. So we have to see once we are back again um, what the consumption will be. Wow, these highways in the US are just crazy. We have eight lanes in each direction, so that's 16 lanes. What the heck? That is just insane. actually stopped my trip at the, the supercharger and uh, SpaceX so um, look at that 181 watt per kilometer we're still not done so it will drop right towards the end hmm, okay we are almost there but there's a little bit of a stoplight here and uh, unfortunately the timer here keeps ticking and we are standing still so it would seem like we have lower average speed because of this, you see, it was 49, now it's 50. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess we have to add a little bit if you want to find the real speed. Right, we are back at the supercharger. Well, actually we didn't start here, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, we always come back to the supercharger. But uh, yeah, so if you look at the screenshot here, you see that we draw about 90 kilometers and uh, well the timer says 53 minutes but i know that we had was it two or three um stoplights and i can assume that okay it was about 50 minutes then so if you do the math 50 minutes based on that distance that means 108 kilometers per hour so that is pretty close to the previous run we had and also when i do this test you know you cannot count on getting um, 120 kilometers per hour 
round trip with the roundabouts or whatever. So uh, about 110, about 10 kilometers per hour lower than the cruising speed is what you can expect. And the consumption is just ridiculously low, you know, 176 watt hour per kilometer. It's only 13 degrees Celsius outside. There was a little bit of wind uh, and we still get this really low consumption. So this car beats Kona by far. Kona consumed 190 when I tested it. Uh, it beats, well actually, is it, does it beat uh, Ionic? It's only Ionic, you know, Ionic is the closest match here. No other car can match the efficiency of Model 3 at these high speeds. So um, I actually want to challenge Ionic and see how efficient Ionic is versus the dual motor Model 3. Yeah. So uh, do you guys take the challenge? Let's try it in Norway. Yeah. Then we have to do it simultaneously because like the weather is always different, you know, uh, so we should do it. And the same run charge i guess charge ionic to 94 <laughs> percent and then charge model 3 to whatever and then make a run for it and back in maybe drive like let's say drive about 100 120 kilometers until the ionic is kind of low and then we see what the consumption is on both cars yes but i claim that the efficiency king is the model 3 yes <laughs> So what? Well, all right. Okay. I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. And if you want to buy a Model 3 or S or X, please consider using the owner's um, uh, preferred link, not mine. This owner here, the owner who owns this Model 3, he was so kind to lend me this. So yeah. All right. That's it for now. Talk to you guys later.